Hey everybody, today uh, we finally switched out to uh, the controls in the office, right? We ripped out a lawn spider and some old lawn XL10s and put in some JCI. And we actually, right now, we put it on a Honeywell uh, Jace. So this stuff is gone here and it's been replaced by this stuff. And now we're going to fix some graphics. So, do, 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 do. been playing around with this. Uh, these aren't my original graphics. These are original from the job. I did not do these. But we're going to rebind some stuff here. Um, I already have the training room rebound here. We're going to change some of this stuff up to make it make sense with the JCI stuff. Uh, the zone rooftop is um, kind of bound. Uh, I say that. Let me show you. I need to. I reassociated all the points, but it would be nice to actually make it. Um, the right one because see it's still pointed at the lawn network so to fix that we just need to go and figure out what the name of the px file that's being used i think it's this one yep it's that one so zone rtu px so we're gonna come up here to multi-zone in the back net views new view uh, we're going to choose zone, zone RTU. We want the zone RTU one. Um, this guy, save. Oh, that's good. Already exists for use. Boom. So now, when we double click that, that works. So now, let me go back to home, floor plan. And rebind that by clicking this button here, clicking that guy there, and going down to my ord and choosing .NET Network. What do we call this guy? Multi zone. Okay, okay. Click that. That saves it. So now look at that. All right. Of course, it's off. It's uh, nighttime right now, so the unit's off, unoccupied. It's the weekend, so that's good. So let me go back and look at these other things. Like I said, I've already changed this one. Automation, I don't think that's all the way changed yet. Let me just look here. We just want to see BACnet. Okay, back now. That's good. Restrooms. Lawn. So, we want to go change the restrooms. And this one's just going to be zone. Yep. So, if I go to restrooms, we'll make a new view. Call it zone okay reuse go back to my floor plan hit the restroom come down here by my ord and then go from the lawn network down to the back net network my back name restroom. Boom, boom. Okay, hit that. That saves it. So now we get that. All right, space temp is seventy six point nine, and that's not what this is showing. So these space temps have to be rebound as well. So what we'll do is this hyperlink right here. Click that guy, 
and then we'll go and find oh so let's look at the histories I don't really care about the histories I just want to show space temp zone temp okay and this guy same thing zone temp Work. Okay, so that one's already looking at automation. What's this one looking at? That might not work. First your point zone. Okay, look at that. What about this one? So this one's gonna be different. <clears throat> This is now our new accounting department, and we're not running it off of a VAV. We're actually running it off of a actuator off of our air handler unit. So it's going to have a little bit different. There go. Boom. I don't think it's a nice pretty graphic, but that doesn't matter. Okay, so now accounting. So this is going to have to have a different one because these are all relativized. So we'll make a new one here. I'll show you that's a fairly easy process. So let me just come down here to zone and duplicate it this will be zone one okay so now I can associate this And instead of having relativized graphics, I'm just going to have buffer zone. Okay, good. Points. We want a supplier. To, okay. Well, that was actually already there. Okay. Uh, damper position is going to be drivers, magnet, multi zone, points. That's going to be this guy. And then I think there's one here. Again, just got to point this towards the right thing. Effective set point. And see these um, these graphics can't really be relativized because they're a little different. I'm gonna say effective set point. I'm gonna go with effective cooling set point there. Okay, okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. And then the name. The name we're just on call. Um, can't do that, can I? Okay. Um, 
So what we'll do is cancel, cancel. Need a label. Just throw a label on top of there. Call the county. And we can make this bigger just by coming up here to this font and going to 16, make it bold. Hit that button. Look at that. All right. So now we got a little bit of the graphics fixed. Not all the way. But got enough to start with. At least now these buttons work. It gets you down in there. I do want to fix this. So since these are relativized, if we fix one, we fix um, all of them, except for the county, right? So Johnson has a little bit different uh, features. So the points we brought in for everything, and I, let me make sure the space time's right. Should be. Should be zone tip. Uh, no, where is the ward? Zone tip. Okay, good. As long as it says zone tip, we're good. So here, you kind of got. Let's change this. All right, now we got to bind them, and these will be relativized. So when we go and bind these, here's the ord. We go into crap. I forgot which one I'm in. It doesn't really matter. So if I go into automation points, this is effective heating. Okay, warm cool adjust. So if I go into automation points, warm cool adjust, that is not the right one. This automation points. Or cool adjust. This guy's gonna be occupied cooling. I know people are cringing right now because there's probably a faster way to do this, but this is the way I do it. Um, and then occupied heating. Boom. Okay, so now to relativize these, oh, I, actually, no, I don't think this was um, relativized either. So let me add this in. Points. Damper. Okay. So now to relativize these, we come up here to this little button right here, relativize ords. 
Now be careful what you relativize. So these I don't want relativized. Because these don't come straight from the air handler themselves. Everything else is good. Boom. So now, click that. It saves it in there. Look at that. Doesn't that look a lot better? So now I gotta do the go and do the same thing for the automation. But that's that's pretty much it. So now we get some graphics here. Uh, I'm not gonna get into the programming. I did all the programming inside of the the controllers and CCT, so the only programming that I have here is to show how many stages of cool I have on. I show you that. Basically I'm adding um, my stages of cooling right here. Cooling one and cooling two uh, together and coming up with the count right here for them. Uh, pretty simple, straightforward stuff. And then it's only single stage heat, so it's just on off. Uh, but that's it. I, I Again, I didn't make these graphics. I'm just rebinding the newer controllers to it. Um, we'll have another video on the custom programming inside there. I know uh, it's different seeing... Johnson controls under uh, Honeywell, but it all works. Uh, it's funny, you could put Johnson controls under any Jace, um, but like, let's just say Honeywell Spiders can pretty much only go under a Honeywell Jace unless you want to buy a very expensive driver for it. But I uh, hope you liked the video. Hope you learned something. Please uh, like and subscribe.